please subscribe to help you and your motorcycle perform better. Dave Williams, editor here with today's video, a 2018 S1000RR advanced setup. This guy does the occasional track day and he's a canyon strafer. So he has altered the bike in certain ways, but it still steers too heavy. There are some reasons for that. So this is an advanced setup for an advanced rider. Uh, we had the basic street setup for a rider on the same bike a few weeks back. Now you get the advanced setup. Here's a preview. My name is Dave Moss. I tune approximately 3,500 bikes per year. This is Two Click Sound. Now steal now the steal microphone, the microphone. microphone. <laughs> What year? 18. 18? Okay, how many miles? Uh, 9,000. Let's not get that destroyed. I already had one at the floor. Key on, please. Thank you. All right, so you've got potentiometers and a bunch of other goodies on it. So, how long have they been on? About 3,000 miles. So, I bought the bike, rode it stock, San Jose BMW, worked with Willie yep. to get everything how he thought the bike should be. Yep. Took it to a few track days, do some canyon riding or whatever. So it's very neutral. He put a rear link in, a negative three alpha link. So the rear is lower. Yep. The forks are flush with the top. So they used to be up a little bit. Correct, Chain. line number one. I'm not sure what the how far he moved that rear axle back, but it's very neutral from what it was. Um, my issue and problem with it, did Chuck Walla did uh, in, uh, not in Finney, in uh, Laguna. Sorry, coffee's still kicking in. <coughs> On the gas, in corners, it requires a lot of input to keep it leaned over. I feel like I'm, I'm muscling it through the turn. Now it's great on the gas on exit, it pushes a little bit, but I think that's kind of how it's set up. But I'm not doing a lot of track days, I'm just kind of canyon guy. Right. And uh, you did my 1299 and it was beautiful. And I'm kind of chasing that setup where it's very flickable and like it doesn't require a lot of a lot of input. It's fun, but it's just, uh, I feel like when I take it to the track, I'm just muscling it through the, through the corners. So you lowered the rear. Yeah. Did the rear axle go back? Yes. And you raised the front? Yeah. So, so there's the first premise right. that muscle is because you need to keep the bike online. So either the back is too soft and the front's too high in the stroke on entry when you let go of the brakes, or rebounds too slow in the back, rebounds too fast in the front, needing constant bar pressure. So one way or the other, we've got both a geometry consideration and then we have a damping consideration. So the other part there is, if you put in a lot of bar pressure, are you done braking? Or when you release the brakes, you need the bar pressure to continue? Take a second. Catch the full video at DaveMossTuning.com. Dave Moss can tune your suspension no matter where you are on the planet via his remote tuning service. Contact Dave on Facebook or by email, dave at davemosstuning.com.